My name is Annika Ross. I am a creative makeup artist and I am here today to show you guys how to do Neatery Avatar makeup. I have chosen to do this look because The Way of Water is nominated for an Oscar. This look is a challenge for me because I'm going to be adding some special effects makeup. This step is just a little bit heinous and I just love Avatar and I'm super excited to do it for you guys. For my first step, I'm going to be blocking the brows. This is very important to make sure that I don't have my natural eyebrows for this character because that's not how it looks. So first, I'm going to take some spear gum. We're going to put body paint over it so it won't be too noticeable, but you want to be able to block it as much as you can just to be safe. And when I say blocking again, I mean going in with the concealer and going in with the powder and doing that process just a few times using the beauty blender. So I like to take some of my extra flesh fake skin and I'm going to be transforming that onto my nose to make that big nose feature. So it's very sticky and can be a little difficult. So this is definitely part of my challenge for this tutorial. The way that the nose for avatar characters are is it's like wide going up. So that's the type of shape I'm going to try to make here. Doing it the way I am is a little bit more difficult because I did not create a prosthetic. So I'm kind of like sculpting it onto my face. This step is just a little bit heinous, but that's why patience is important for this, right? That took a few more minutes than I wanted it to, but finally I got it to how I want it. Moving on to the next step, I am going to do the body painting. I just do colors around my face like this and then I'll go in with my white and do that same sort of thing and I just blend it out while this wasn't a prosthetic it's still that consistency that it will hopefully harden by me putting on this sealer So after we're done with setting powder, we're gonna then want to go in with eyeshadow and create the darker blue lines. So I'm here taking the darkest shade and I will be creating those lines going down the face. Then you're basically gonna wanna be doing that same thing going down your neck. I'm using just a little bit of a thinner brush and I'm going in with the darker blue to add those lines to be a little bit more detailed. When I was 16, I got a job at Legoland to be a face painter, and I really feel like that helped me kickstart my career. And more and more, I started to get into more of the detailed end of it. And while I'm here, I'm going to trace the nose to like add a little bit of shadowing. When doing this, it's great because it's gonna then kind of show like a 3D look where there's multiple colors, three different shades of blue on my skin. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the eyebrows. So where I'm going to be adding them is just a little bit above where my actual eyebrows are, like right here. And then we're going to want to go in to make the nose pink and the bottom lip pink. Now we are going to be going in with some white face paint to be putting the dots all over the face. She has super big eyes, so we're gonna want to be able to make that illusion that my eyes are bigger than they are. I'm going to do eyeliner. And a little trick I, I'm gonna do is when I put the lash on, I'm going to put it a little bit high like this and then fill in the gap to make my eye look even bigger. Lashes are ironically one of the hardest things for me to do. Now I'm going to be adding the wig and the contacts. After you do the hair and the contacts, very last step are the ears. Here is the final finished look. 
So I feel like the makeup went pretty well today. There were some challenges I had with especially trying to make the structure of the nose, but I endeared. I really had a fun time doing this and in terms of new looks in the future for me, I'm really hoping to do more um, special effects looks. 